Good morning everyone. Oh, there I am. Um, I have my coffee and I think it's empty. And I have a couple... <coughs> I don't know why when I turn the camera on I suddenly get a weird tickle in my throat. I need a couple of things that I need to accomplish this morning. One of which is to find uh, Janet's address because it got um, something that I sent to her got returned insufficient address and I could have sworn I had her full address. Oh, there's my chickens. Oh, Nugget. We miss Nugget. So much. Things haven't been quite the same since she's been gone. Um, three eggs this morning from the chickens, all brown. Uh, it is 35. Nice and nice and warm. Well, much warmer than it's been. Although tomorrow I believe it's supposed to be 52. Hopefully it'll melt some more of that icky, icky snow. And, um... I have a couple of things I want to get done today. Um, I, kitchen's cleaned up. Um, we brought back a couple of things, a couple of pans from my mom's last night from dinner. I, I think that's like the best way to do family dinner is to have everybody bring something, kind of like a mini pot potluck. And yeah, those are what you're looking at now are some microwave chocolate cakes I made in a mug with strawberries, whipped cream, and melted Nutella. Don't they look delish? And we picked up the cookies from uh, Amanda's troop. She sold, you know, Girl Scout cookies. And I could have sworn that Polly put some Thin Mints in the freezer last night, but I guess he didn't because I was looking for them this morning. But uh, not that I really need cookies for breakfast. So it's Meatless Monday. Uh, more than likely, I'll probably have a cheese sandwich for lunch. Maybe I'll have a salad. No, I think I'm have, making Caesar for uh, dinner tonight. I'll look. I'll look in the fridge. Um, we did bring a uh, one of the half of the chicken home last night. Um, every, all the leftovers kind of got dispersed. There wasn't that many. The cauliflower all went, and I do actually have to go get more cauliflower. So the scallops that Polly brought, um, um, I'm going to make over roasted cauliflower rice. It's not really rice, it's cauliflower uh, run on a food processor and then uh, roasted to be like toasted rice and um, then I'll sear the scallops and that will probably be Thursday? Because I have uh, the salmon, although I could make that with a... No, I could make regular rice. I don't know. We'll decide. So the proteins we have for the week. Um, today is going to be Sorry, I take my glass off. Today I'm going to make mushroom uh, tortellini with a caramelized onion and mushroom, probably creamy sauce. Um, oh, you can see me. Mm. Um, and a Caesar salad on the side because we have a lot of romaine and those croutons I made last week. And I have some uh, a little bit of Parmesan cheese left. So that'll make a nice little side. <clears throat> and then I have salmon, pork chops, scallops, and then um, there, that's what's fresh in the refrigerator. And then I have several other options in the freezer. So I think salmon's definitely going to be tomorrow. So that will be pan seared with um, dill and lemon. Maybe a little mustard sauce. We'll see. And rice on the side, either the cauliflower or regular basmati herb rice. I actually haven't made rice in a while, so maybe I'll do... Oh, no, we had jambalaya. I don't know, I always forget about that. I have to get back on track on um, adding my weekly menu to my um, household Filofax, the A5. I really get back into the swing of things now that I have a working printer once more. So I'll do that, and then hope, hoping to get um, Janet's letter back out, and I have a couple of cards to go out today as well. If I miss the mail carrier, I'll just run out and drop them in the mailbox. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but um, I was under the impression that when you drop something off at the post office, it ensures that it gets stamped go to go out that same day, or postmarked to go out that same day. However, it turns out that that's not always the case, and I sent my parents a anniversary card while they were still in Florida. It took 
a week, an entire week, and it wasn't forwarding mail. I didn't send it to their house locally, and I got forwarded to their um, place in Florida. I sent it directly to the place in Florida. I would have expected it to be there two, maybe three days. I mean, it's a small envelope. It's not like you went on a truck. It went in a plane. But it took an entire week to arrive to them, and I was a little bit shocked. Um, I don't know if anyone else has experienced that recently with the U.S. Postal Service. So that was a, a bit of a surprise, and I'm surprised that it took this long for this envelope to come back. This has been mailed for three weeks. I just It seems kind of odd that it takes that long. And obviously it arrived um, in the town on 3-4. That also doesn't make any sense. I'm not sure how these things work, but some one of these things is... I don't know if the Postal Service is just having a lot of... It's not like their volume is huge. I thought they were losing business. I don't know. Now I'm just rambling. I don't know what's happening to my voice either. I think I might need some more coffee or maybe some tea. Okay, so... um. Those are kind of like the you know the basics for today. I have um, I'm, I'm continuing to work on the kitchen declutter. I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff, reorganized all of our oh, um, reorganized all of our um, grocery bags that we take, um, and you know got rid of stuff that you know, plastic bags that we had tucked in. My husband's notorious for tucking stuff in on the side of the shelving unit in the kitchen. The next big thing that I need to tackle is the uh, self-reproducing plastic leftover containers. Um, I know I can let some of them go. Um, I could give some away. I could certainly pair them all up with their lids. Another pet peeve of mine. I hate that. I... ugh. So that that continues. I haven't set a time frame when I want it done, but I do want to get it done because I will feel much better if I have all of my, you know, uh, stand mixer, f um, food processor, blender all on the top shelf and readily accessible. My fabulous stainless mandolin. I was thinking of maybe making some vegetable chips. So if I get a chance to run out during lunch to the produce place, I'll take a look and see how... Um, zucchinis and yellow squash look because if the, if the zucchinis look good I might make them like salt and vinegar and bake them in the oven because I don't have a food dehydrator I did at one point but for the life of me I have no idea I may have gotten misplaced in some move or it's somewhere in the garage and I just don't feel like looking for it so yeah a couple of things to get done today oh, excuse me and um, yeah I'll be back in a few Oh, and this cake, in case you're wondering, takes less than five minutes to prep, prep, to cook, to eat. That's a very dangerous recipe to have. And I do have a blog post, I think, of the recipe I shared. So while Polly's making salad, I am caramelizing onions for the onion jam. Um, once the jam is done, and you'll see, it just it's slow, it's like medium heat. Uh, as the water starts to evaporate from the onions, I turn the heat down even more. I have salt and black pepper in there and stir it up with a pat of butter. That's it. Um, sometimes I add a splash of balsamic vinegar. Some, sometimes I don't. It all depends on how sweet the onions are to begin with. So they're going to go slow. And then uh, what we're having for dinner is uh, mushroom tortellini. And I'm going to saute some fresh mushrooms, which I will slice. Yeah, some fresh mushrooms, and I'm gonna slice them nice and thick. Um, and the stems will go to the girls, so they have a treat too for tomorrow. So low and slow, 10 to 15 minutes is how long it takes us. Um, there were I started off with two softball size onions. I sliced um, them in half, peeled the outer skin, and then uh, like Metzaluna half moons cut them, but I only used one and a half halves, so one and a half onions, the other half um, is going to, some of it is going to be added to the salad, um, and they are getting to a point where I think I could turn the heat down, 
and they were like they are not spicy but I felt it in my eyes see it's starting to caramelize so I'm gonna move it around even while I was talking it started to take on a lot of color so they'll they'll turn that beautiful mahogany color in no time so do not walk away and I've shown these caramelized onions in process before so um, if I recall if I remember to I'll post a link to the blog post where I have the photo step by step that's what the caramelized onions look like in 20 minutes and I have thickly sliced I'll show you how thickly I sliced the mushrooms in the same pan and I need to turn the heat up I'm just gonna saute them till they get color a little salt and black pepper and then I'll make the sauce in the meantime, I'm going to put some water on for the mushroom tortellini. So I added a teaspoon of coconut oil. It's the extra virgin organic that I... from Tropical Islands. And I'm sauteing these mushrooms. And I am flipping them, you know, and not overcrowding the pan. And they're just looking beautiful. Salt, black pepper, that's all that's on them and all that beautiful goodness from the pan. Yum. Gratuitous shot of frying food. So it's unanimous. I was going to make a cream sauce, but the mushrooms are so beautiful and taste so delicious on their own like this. That's all the sauce is going to be. The coconut oil, um, I'll add a little uh, parsley, a little bit of garlic powder, and it's just gonna be over the tortellinis, which are cooking will be ready in about 15 minutes and then I'll add some some of the caramelized onions not all of it and then salad which Polly has already made so stay tuned I'll show you what it looks like all put together and there's this, the salad that Polly made uh, we're just debating whether to dress it with oil vinegar salt and pepper or try the new Caesar dressing I showed you from the shopping hall the other day so I'm gonna try it on a little piece of kohlrabi and then we'll make a decision based on that so that's dinner. Big salad and tortellini with sautéed mushrooms, uh, onion jam, a few uh, pieces of the parmigiano reggiano, and a little sprinkling of um, dried parsley. So that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me. We're going to go enjoy dinner, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching.